Hi everyone. I have just arrived in West Wailong. I am just starting my road trip along the Great Ocean Road, driving from Changi to spend the night in West Wailong tonight, and then tomorrow continue on down south and then along the Great Ocean Road. So stay tuned. I found this nice camp spot to camp at tonight, and it's finally starting to feel like I'm doing van life, road trip, like I'm here for it. Let's go. I'm about to go make some dinner. Woo! We're in West Wyla. Mary Narang Park. Good morning. I just woke up at campsite number one in West Wailong. I'm just gonna make some coffee and maybe a little bit of breakfast and then probably start to head off for the next four hour drive to the next location. It smells really good here. I'm not sure what it is, but like the ground and the trees have a strong scent, a very herbal scent, like almost like essential oils, but like all natural. I think I hit a lot of bugs on the way. I have arrived at campsite number two. It's right by this really nice creek and then there's just fields of green and the sun is out there's my camping setup and i'm gonna make some spaghetti good morning i'm just making some coffee quite windy right now but it's really beautiful here I just came to Buckley Falls Park near Turkey I think I don't know um, just walking down to the waterfalls not gonna be staying for long because it is cold and windy but it is so nice the sun's poking out a little bit which is really nice but absolutely stunning Alright everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Taylor out of the back of my car. Um, just getting started and uh, I've already burnt a hole in my plate, so good thing I bought a four pack. But I have some chicken here on the stove and I've- ah! Great. <laughs> and I've got some veggies over here i'm making tacos <laughs> i think this calls for a glass of wine because you know things can't get worse than they <laughs> already are as i just spilt wine on my veggies but you know what we're living life and we're loving it okay
Hi everyone. So I am at the Cleland Wildlife Park in Adelaide, South Australia. And today I am going to go hold and get photos with koala bears. And I'm really excited. Um, I didn't realize that I had to pay for admission to the rest of the park as well. So when I got here, I was given that news. And so I guess I'm gonna hang around a little bit longer and see some other animals. We'll see what's here. Scratching his foot. <laughs> I am hanging out with the koala bears. Look at them. <laughs> Looks like you have little fangs. You're so cute. Koala bear fight. know what you are. You look like a big rat. You look like a big rat. You're so soft. You're so soft. Hello. It's mommy and baby. It's mommy and baby. Oh, okay. I just want to say hello. Hello. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. <laughs> what that tongue do, though? He's just chilling. Okay, so the little cute rat things that I thought were just big rats. No, I didn't actually, but I didn't know what they were. But anyway, it's one of these things. And I'm pretty sure it's that one. It's a long-nosed potteroo. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. oh, I'm scared. <laughs> it's, it's touching me. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail on that guy. I'm trying to get it to focus. Lift up this cover to see something amazing. Okay. Eh. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Hello. Hello, what are you doing? Mr. Kangaroo? Are you gonna hurt me? You're scaring me, bud. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You don't need to speak to me like that, sir. That's pretty rude. Anyway, I don't know. I'm just trying to get a photo with the baby kangaroo. Right? We're just trying to get a photo. Do you want this carrot? Do you want this carrot? What's this? You don't want this carrot? He doesn't like this carrot. Oh, he wants this carrot. 
Do you want this carrot? No. I'm not that comfortable sitting here like this. <laughs> What's this? You want this? You want this carrot? No. You want this carrot? You want this carrot? You want this carrot? Buddy. Buddy. Oh, my legs. Dude. What's this? What's this? There we go. He ate the carrot out of my hand. Oh. There we go. Oh. Okay, so dingoes are Australia's wild dog. And they're right there. But they look actually kind of nice. So I don't know. Hello. Are you a dingo? You look like a regular dog. What's so special about you? Tell me. What's so special about you? You look like a regular dog. Huh? Huh? What do you have to say for yourself? You're so cute. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just hanging out. You're just hanging out. Oh my gosh, there's a baby in that one's pouch. Oh my goodness. So I have been house sitting for the past two weeks um, in Adelaide. And I left today, which was really sad because I really started to bond with the little puppy dog and the kitty cat. And it was so nice just being able to spend time with animals because it's been so long since I've been able to do that. And yeah, so it was a little bit of a sad goodbye, but I've just left. Um, I am gonna be camping tonight and I'm sleeping in my car. I have a bed right here. That's why it's a bit messy um, and I have like a ton of crap in here but i've been camping finding different free campsites finding other different types of campsites occasionally i'll book a hostel or something like that because i need a shower and stuff but basically just been living in my car and i'm back on the road um and i've just stopped at this campsite here for the night i'm just having a little snack lately i've been getting into trying different cheeses so I got a brie um, and I have these cranberry and sunflower seed crackers and they're so good. These two together, mmm, 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 so good. It almost looks like butter, but it's cheese and mmm. So creamy. Anyway, um, something happened last night that really got me thinking. I have always been a pretty healthy eater. Um, I love most vegetables and fruit, and especially when I go through my phases of getting really in touch with my spirituality, I try to eat fairly healthy. And so the past two to three, maybe even almost four weeks, I've been really trying to incorporate a lot of different vegetables, fruits, and try to uh, eat and cook only with like whole foods, uh, nothing processed. And I've been feeling like pretty good. Like I've been tired and stuff, but I don't think food is the reason. But last night, I decided to be bad. I haven't had McDonald's in months. 
I rarely, rarely eat McDonald's. I always refuse McDonald's. I probably eat it maybe once a year on average. And last night I had a couple drinks and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna try some McDonald's and see how we go because it can't be bad. Like, I kid you not, two bites into my fries and chicken nuggets, my stomach started aching, 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 making the loudest, strangest noises. Noises I've never heard come from there before. And I was sore. My stomach was sore for hours. And I even woke up this morning today still feeling gross. I think that's just a sign for how bad the chemicals in McDonald's food is because when my stomach has been used to eating good foods, like, I rarely get stomach aches anymore. And that was brutal. So I think we need to be more cautious of the food that we're putting into our bodies. Our gut health is a big factor in our overall body health. And if your gut health is bad, you'll feel bad in other places too. Your brain, the rest of your body, everything is connected so if you're not taking care of your body with the things that you consume then you're gonna have overall problems so i feel motivated to get back on track i know eating cheese and stuff like that probably isn't the best but i'm exhausted today I went to the grocery store, I bought a bunch of different veggies and I bought stuff to make a salad. And I think these crackers are pretty good. They're like, just like a mix of different seeds and dried cranberries and stuff. So it's not like there's a lot of bad ingredients. Um, so yeah, I think incorporating more whole foods, real foods, avoiding processed shit um, is really, really important. And I know it is so hard to resist cravings. Like I just ate almost half of that cheese and now my stomach is sore again. <sighs> and it's hard when you're traveling because Depending where you are, there's limited options. You can't always cook good meals for yourself. But I think I really need to start getting back on track and cutting out some of the bad foods and maybe making a plan to be more strict about it. So I also got this green juice i absolutely love green juice anything that has like spinach and celery in it i love the taste of it and this one is so good i could just chug the whole bottle but i shouldn't so it's almost 9 30 um, I'm sleeping in my car and I'm just about to go to sleep. I think my phone's not really working. The service is cutting in and out. It's raining. It's cold. So I've just bundled up with a bunch of blankets and I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Hopefully I can sleep. I don't feel that tired, but I don't really know what else to do. And I haven't really slept well in the past few days, so hopefully I can get some sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow.